Uh, so here are some lever practice problems. Here's the first one. Jose and Suzette construct an arm where the effort is located 10 inches from the fulcrum and the load is 25 inches from the fulcrum. What is the mechanical advantage of the arm? So here we know that the mechanical advantage of levers is going to be uh, the length of the input arm divided by the length of the output arm. So if the input arm is 10 inches and the output arm is 25 inches, then the overall mechanical, oh, my slide moved, the overall mechanical advantage will basically be 10 divided by 25, which will be 0 0.4. A lever with an output arm of 0 0.8 meters has a mechanical advantage of 6. What is the length of the input arm? So again, our mechanical advantage for levers is going to be the length of the input arm divided by the length of the output arm. So if our mechanical advantage is 6 and our output arm is 0 0.8 meters, I'm trying to find the length of the input. I can basically multiply both sides by 0 0.8. So if I do 6 times 0 0.8, that equals 4.8. So the length of my input arm equals 4.8 meters. Find the IMA and AMA of this lever. So for the lever, we actually need a little bit more information. The stuff we need is really going to be the forces. So let's just say um, that our input force... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But our input force is going to be... Uh, 5 and our output force is going to be 15. We'll just put newtons on the end there. Okay, so the ideal mechanical advantage of this lever is calculated, if you remember, by um, IMA for levers is going to be the length of the input for uh, divided by the length of the output. So our length of the input is 37 meters. And our length of, assuming, you know, input is going to be this way, because we know that this is a class 1 lever. And the length of the output is going to be 12 meters. So therefore, 37 divided by 12 will ultimately be 3.08 as our IMA. Okay, no units there. Uh, to get actual mechanical advantage, you might remember that AMA is calculated by the force output divided by force input. And so here we have 15 newtons divided by 5 newtons, that equals 3. And so our actual mechanical advantage is just a little bit smaller than our um, ideal mechanical advantage, and that sort of makes sense.